Hi there guys, Kate Wake here, thank you for joining and welcome to this channel. Today we will have a truly epic hike to Eben Alp. It's one of the most beautiful hikes here in Switzerland and we will visit some of the most photographed sites in this region, so-called Alpstein region. I will share some useful information, some beautiful spots to see, some facts about the hike itself, so enjoy! So getting here is easy. From Appenzell it only takes two stops to Wasserraum and it is the last stop on the Appenzell railway, so hard to miss. From there there is Ultramorden cable car, the one that we took, carries passengers to steep 723 meter climb to Eppenalp at the height of 1644 meters. All of that in only six minutes, so no sweat. It will cost you 22 Swiss francs one way. Uh, cable car was built here and was in operation since 1955, today attracting more than 200,000 visitors each year. The views are absolutely stunning. You can see the IBC lake, the beautiful body of water. That's where we're going to be hiking down. For such a hike, I would definitely recommend proper hiking boots and maybe some more of the equipment. Uh, for us, it was enough to just have the proper hiking boots and uh, physical stamina. Um, these were these lovely rabbits on top of the mountain right next to the restaurant. Um, they were so lovely that I was hoping they're not actually on the menu. A bit of a local's advice. Locals always climb up and then take the cable car down. Foreigners, including ourselves, <laughs> did exactly the reverse. Um, it is easier, no question, but it's also more prone to accidents and it's very, very bad for your knees. So generally when Swiss see you going down, <laughs> they pretty much can tell that you're a foreigner. So yeah, make your own decision. We did climb down, it wasn't too bad, but well, the legs did hurt in the end. So even Neanderthals came here. Uh, here you see the cave called Weltkirchli. Uh, it was inhabited around 40,000 years ago. And then you will see hermits dwelling, so religious hermits who wanted to have a more spiritual life and experience would live in isolation for long periods of time. Right after that, we will follow with a very beautiful local chapel and the actual uh, religious services take uh, place here on a regular basis. Well, quite a view for a religious service, I have to give them that. So finally we made our way to arguably most photographed area here, uh, Berg Gasthaus Asher Mount Inn, <laughs> that's a mouthful, that's basically translated as the mountain uh, guest house. Um, this was actually inhabited in prehistoric times already, there's some prehistoric stone tools that were found in the area a hundred years ago, evidence that the area was actually inhabited by the hunter-gatherers during the Paleolithic era, that's roughly more than 45,000 years ago. Uh, today, it is inhabited primarily by hardcore hikers with uh, large pockets because even though the conditions are quite rugged and simple, uh, the prices are quite steep, but well, you're paying for the view. Uh, very soon we made some local friends. Uh, they were at first quite suspicious of us, very, very serious, but soon after sort of grew more comfortable and friendly and wanted some, you know, gentle rubbing on the back.
So Eben Aleph is without a doubt an ideal starting point for numerous from easy to very, very challenging hikes. The hike that we did, I will tell you more details um, as we go, was medium in terms of the challenge. It was quite challenging. I would say it was right on the border of what we could do without any special equipment. Alpine meadows, impressive rock formations, magnificent views. So hikes truly showcase the very best of up and south region. And if you don't have too many days, um, going from Eben Alp down to the Alp Sea, I think would be one of the best choices. So now coming up arguably the most difficult part of the hike where we had to hold the cable um, in the rock in order to go down because some of the steps were basically just stones uh, more than half a meter deep. So that's the heat on your knees right there, but the views are so very much worth it. So I would definitely recommend doing the full hike. Alright guys, so that would be all for the day. Thank you so much for joining. I hope the information was useful. I really hope you could do the hike. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do put the like. It's very, very important for every content creator. Subscribe if you like such content. I post roughly every week and see you soon.